Uh, yeah, it was a great weekend. You know, we've uh, we've had, I'd say, and the coaches in the room can can uh, echo this. Peaking at the right time is uh, is a beautiful thing. You know, we we started poorly, and I've said that. You know, here we we were frustrated early on. We'll take that because we learned some lessons, we fixed some things, and now we're we're sitting at the top of the conference. Uh, you know, kicking ourselves for that that goal we gave up in double overtime against Missouri State because that put us. Uh, free and clear at the top. So uh, being the one or the two seed uh, gives us a huge advantage in conference playoffs. So right now that's a focus. You know, obviously we're playing to win the conference. We're tied on points with Missouri State. We got a favor from Drake uh, over the weekend. And so we need probably one more favor and we got to win out. So that's our goal. We're taking it, as the saying goes, one game at a time. So our focus right now is Memphis. We got a good opponent on, on Wednesday, uh, but as far as conference goes, our focus is on Valparaiso. They're a team that we beat at their place uh, back in late September, uh, but a very competitive team, and they've done well since then. So we're expecting them to come in hungry and, and try and get some revenge on us. Uh, so, but we're playing really well. You know, we're scoring on set pieces, which uh, you know, as, as the soccer guys in the room know, that that's such a huge thing because you control those, you can train them, and we worked really, really hard on those going into the match on Saturday. Uh, so Bradley is a team that, that's hyper-competitive. They train every day uh, for those situations. And for us to keep them off the board, and then to get two on set pieces against them is, is almost unheard of against that group. So really proud of the ways, way our guys trained through the week. And then, you know, proud as a coach to see them do exactly what we worked on uh, on the practice field. So we got some guys performing at a really high level. Mark Olson in the back is continuing. <laughs> Luckily, we didn't put him under a lot of pressure over the weekend. Uh, but one of the, if not the, you know, certainly one of the top goalkeepers in the region, definitely in the conference. Uh, Jake Bates, we're pushing hard for Defensive Player of the Week. Right now we'll find out tomorrow, I think. Uh, but had an assist on the weekend and was an absolute warrior defending all those set pieces. Uh, you know, one of the, we were talking about what, it, what it's like to go up for headers in our sport, you know, without any protection, you're basically going flying in with you know the most delicate part of your body uh, trying to win a ball with it and Jake probably won 30 or 40 headers on the day and um, helped get us some goals so pretty excited to have him he's only a freshman and showing some real potential in the back so uh, senior night is next weekend like Natalie said we've got eight seniors uh, a lot of guys that have been with this program a long time put their heart and soul into into the UCA Bears so it's gonna be a sad day but a happy day to to kind of celebrate their time with us and uh, have a really, you know, another opportunity to compete. So we go to Memphis, we know them well. We play them every year. Uh, we play them in the spring, so there's no secrets between our two clubs, uh, but they're going to be a team, a non-conference team that we're going to be pushing for another opportunity to compete, another opportunity to win. So.